Hi guys, um, today we're going to be working on something that I get asked how to do all the time, um, probably because I've done it in a couple stories now, and that is how to let your reader choose their gender and sexuality all within the same story. Um, so grab your computers, grab your coffees, it's kind of cold and almost gone, and let's get started. Okay, so this isn't something that is overly difficult to do, but it is a lot of branching. So um, it's something you have to make sure you do at the start of every single chapter of your story, and then you have to merge everything at the end. So um, let's dive into the portal and I can show you how it's done. Okay, so as far as I know, there's no... Um, kind of shortcut to doing this. So you will have, if you are letting your readers choose both their gender and their sexuality, you will have four branches to write every single chapter. Um, obviously you can make them very similar. You can make them entirely different. Um, totally up to you. Um, I do a mix of both. It kind of depends. Um, depends on the story. If you're reading something, um, for example, uh, the distance, each one of them is different. Uh, not 100% different, obviously some things have to be the same, I never would have finished it otherwise, but um, I did make them different. So if you played as the female main character, um, the story was a bit different um, if you played as the male main character. Um, same goes if you um, if you played as a female main character who was um, straight, it was different to if um, she was a lesbian. So it, it's, you have to um, decide what you want to do. Um, I know readers tend to appreciate it if you make them a bit different because it's not the same. <laughs> um, but um, it's entirely up to you, obviously. Um, but always make sure you use proper pronouns. Um, double check, have other people check it, um, just make sure things are correct. Um, and, um, okay, so as, I'll get into the technical stuff now. <laughs> so as you can see, um, we have um, these options where you can choose um, your, right at the beginning, you say, do you wanna play as male or female? And you can choose either one of those and then those will branch off and then it'll ask you whether you want to play, um, whether you want to be interested in men or women and that's in each branch that you get. And that's where you start using your gains, your go-tos and your labels. So if you're right in the very first chapter, this is when you have to do all of this, if your main character chooses to play as female, they will gain female. And then when you go into the next part where you decide whether they are, you want their love interest to be male or female, you will gain. What I, what I tend to do is I, I try to keep it as simple as possible. Either I use the characters' names or I use female, male. So in the order in which the main character is. So in this case, I did female, male, and female, female. So they will gain female, female, and then you'll say, go to female, female. And then further down in the story, you'll have the label that says label, female, female. And that's where once you've chosen that love interest, that sexuality, the gender of the main character and the sexuality of the main character, that is where they will go. So once you have that chosen, what will happen is when you get to the second chapter and beyond, you start getting into the if, l if, l if, else. So then you'll have four branches. So you do if, female, male, l if, female, female, l if, male, female, else and then they'll go to the other branch. So you you have to make sure you have this at the start of every single chapter, otherwise it won't work. 
it makes it a bit more complicated when you start to have choices and gains and things like that within your chapters. You have to make sure, like if you have mini games, that the mini game stays within the gender and sexuality choice. Um, so what I tend to do is always put, um, when you have those kinds of choices, um, you say uh, mini game, for example, you have a label that says label mini game zero one. You're gonna have that in every single branch, but you want to make sure that you stay within the branch that you've chosen. So if you're in the female main character, male love interest branch, you would say label mini game zero one F M. So female, male. And then when you get into the um, female main character, female love interest, you do label mini game zero one F F. So female, female. So you make sure you're always staying within those specific branches throughout the story. It's not that complicated. If you have a system in place, this is my system to always have that F M F F M F M M kind of designation for each gender and sexuality choice. And that keeps everything straight. Um, I also put things into a Google Doc, so I have all of that straight um, as well. Um, just to make sure I can stay on track and remember all my labels. Um, this is really advanced directing stuff, but um, readers really appreciate it when they can play as whoever they want. Um, I always do. I like um, mixing it up, playing as a male character sometimes. Um, you know, you can, it gives your readers a chance to read things from a different perspective too if they want to reread your story um that's always nice too so um i hope this wasn't too confusing for you um i've linked to a google doc that has how you do this right in there um so hopefully um this isn't too confusing but if you do have any any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below, or you can hit me up over on my Instagram page, which is at LH episode, or on my Facebook page, which is Lauren on episode, just like this channel. Um, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for updates and new videos when they come out. And hopefully 